What's up guys, Geared Survivor here. Um, I just want to make a quick video today reviewing a knife I have. I have a bunch of knives I'm going to be reviewing. I just have to do the videos. I uh, actually received this knife over Christmas. It's the K-Bar or Kabar, however you want to say it. Becker BK2. Uh, I'm shooting this video on my phone. My GoPro is dead. Uh, it's actually charging. But uh, it's been a minute since I've used it, so just lean with me. Uh, out of the box, this knife is awesome. Uh, it's made out of 1095 Crovan steel. Okay, beautiful knife. The blade's a quarter inch thick. It's, it's a it's a it's a very durable, hefty knife. Okay, this is not a fighting knife. I mean. It could be used to ward off an attacker, but uh, it's more of a survival type knife, bush crafting knife, so just keep that in mind. It has a flat grind, okay, and a 20 degree edge on both sides. It's a beautiful knife. It's coated in some very durable coating. Uh, the handles are made out of ultra mid material. Uh, it's kind of like polymer, uh, probably not as... I wouldn't say it's as durable as polymer. I mean, it feels like it is, but uh, I'll end up having to do a uh, hard use on this knife. Problem with me doing hard use videos is I like treating my guns and knives like safe queens. You know what I mean? So more of a collector. Uh, but I, I trust the knife to do its job if it came down to it. To me, uh, the company has not stated that this is what this is for but can you see that groove right there that groove perfectly fits a ferro rod in there to strike and it's just phenomenal this knife feels ridiculous in the hand it's heavy it, the knife weighs a pound I mean one pound is not a lot but for a knife it's that's that's kind of crazy uh, love this knife it's been out for a few years but I finally got my hands on one uh, it has a full tang blade and it runs out through the back of the handles and it has a flat hammer like pounding type you know uh, butt on it right here a lot of people have used this to mash up wood uh, to get tinder out of or or what have you it's a drop point blade uh, it's hardness on the scale it reaches between 56 and 58 hardness uh, from a knife guys out there if you know what that is if you don't uh, it's just basically we we want to know the hardness of the blade so we know what kind of edge it's going to hold or how hard it's going to be to sharpen uh, softer steel takes the edge pretty easy but it loses it very easy harder steel keeps an edge pretty good but it's hard to put one on it uh, like I said quarter inch blade that's Ridiculous quarter inch blade. I love this knife. Let me give y'all a run over of it. They do make handles. A lot of people are making handles for these knives. Uh, you can get them on eBay. Uh, let's move on to the sheath. The sheath comes with the locking system. Okay. The locking system on the sheath is actually right here. It locks kind of like a Kydex holster would to a gun. Excuse me. Uh, it locks in. I'm sure y'all can hear that. And it's it's really, it would not, this knife would not come out of this sheath if you made it. I mean, it's, it's, it's in there. So, uh, it's textured here. So when you put your thumb on it, you press off of it, get your knife out. Uh, this is the factory sheath from this knife. There's a lot of sheaths being made for this knife. A lot of leather bushcrafting sheaths. Uh, this is the nylon strap. It runs up the back of the sheath. It can be removed. Uh, I'm sure y'all seen the video, or the picture rather, sorry, of me taking the nylon sheaths off of my Kabar TDI knife and putting this metal clip on it. Uh, the reasons I do that, 
And I will be doing that to this one as well. They don't make a metal clip for this one that I know of, but they do make a, it's a uh, plastic like the sheath is made out of and it mounts here and it's, you get the one that sides to your belt. It's a plastic type clip and it clips on your belt. The problem with these nylon sheaths, other than it being real, you know, blanky, I mean, I like something that's gonna stay put. I wanna put it on my sheath and know it's there and I can grab the knife and pull it from the sheath without the sheath moving, like I do with my pistols. Uh, with this knife sheath, <clears throat> it's got the extra retainer up here at the top to keep the knife in, but I wanna show you this. This is where your belt runs. That is a good six inches right there for your belt, okay? So when you run your belt in here, and it's on your side, okay, let me get something to try to demonstrate this. Say this is your belt, your belt's usually an inch and a half, inch and three quarters. When you try to lift the knife up, let's take the retention off right here. When you lift the knife up, you see what it's doing there? It's Not only is it going down, but it flips. So you're literally pulling this knife a foot before you can even pull the knife out of the sheath. I'm not a fan of this nylon sheath. Uh, the nylon straps that came on my <clears throat> TDI knife, they're not quite, there's not quite as much range in them, maybe two and a half, three inches, but uh, I'm just not a fan. I mean, I wish K-Bar or Kabar would uh, offer it with the more sturdy clips like this or the plastic one that I'm gonna be doing on this one. Uh, from the factory. Uh, this knife runs, I've seen it go anywhere between, uh, I want to say, a hundred, around a hundred, a little more, a little less, give or take, if you buy used or new. Uh, good knife. I absolutely love this knife. Uh, it has the cutouts in the sheath here and the holes where you can hook, you can mount a lanyard to, but you wouldn't want to carry this around your neck. You can strap it to one of your bug out bags or your pack. Love this knife, okay? If you want to know more about the knife, uh, if you want to know anything that I haven't said, I will try to find it out for you. Just ask me, okay? Uh, <clears throat> before I go, I want to give a shout out to my buddy Chris Bowman. Uh, he's a high school buddy of mine. Uh, we actually, like everybody in high school, lost touch out of high school. I moved to Yet. I moved away from him, I moved to Yakinville, so I'm about 45 minutes from where he lives at. Uh, he runs 2A Review Network. Uh, he's a good friend of mine, and he's been a good guy as far as I've known him. Y'all go give him a give him a like, subscribe, share his page. Uh, give him the same appreciation and respect that you gave, gave me, and uh, we're gonna be doing some collaboration videos in the future. We haven't really discussed what that'll be on, maybe reviewing things together or something of that nature. We're both <clears throat> working with a few of the same companies, just a couple, uh, trying to get some different products reviewed. He's reviewed a lot more products than I have. Uh, I've been focusing more on the survival side of it and I will remain doing so, but I'm also gonna start adding more reviews. Uh, please hit the subscribe button, like, share this video. I hope that y'all have a good day and uh, Thank y'all for, thank y'all for being here. Good survivor out.